What? I look up, I look at my phone, I see I got a thousand subscribers, man. I appreciate the people so much. I'm gonna keep working hard, keep pushing content. Y'all, y'all asking for it. Whatever y'all ask for, I'm gonna give it. Cause everybody wanna know about shoes and I'm gonna give y'all the game, man. So let's get straight to the video. Ah, the Air Force One, like I said before, man, the easiest and my favorite silhouette to customize. If this your first time doing customs, like I said, the Air Force One is the perfect shoe to do. Today, I'm doing a Coco Melon, man. I've done a few of these. I said, let me let me do a video, man. The mothers are killing me. I, I don't have kids, but whatever Coco Melon is, is driving the kids crazy. And the mothers and the fathers, they need them. They've been blowing my line up, so I got to give it to y'all. You already know, man, every video, man, every time we start a new project, man, we got to prep the shoe, man. First thing first is get these laces out, and then we get the acetone and the fingernail polish. Remember... Get the whole shoe. You gotta ask it on the whole shoe, man. Not really in this case. This is a baby shoe, and it's super easy too, man. A baby shoe only take about 20 seconds to prep, but this is a must, man. That you gotta do this before you paint anything. I'll say this though, for first time using man, you might want to use tape for this green section that I'm doing, man, because light green can get a little messy. You're gonna need a few coats, and you don't want to get no light green where it shouldn't be. Trust me, I've been there. It saved your cleanup. When you're doing light green, man, light green, take your time because it's one of them colors you don't want to get it nowhere else because it will stain the shoe very, very heavy. Your cleanup is going to be hard. Trust me. I had an incident years ago. I had to, even though I fixed it, it was like, damn, I don't want to deal with this. So light green, take your time, man. With this, And light green also, that is being super light. You're going to need like eight coats. To really make it look full so make sure you take your time man when you're doing other people's shoes man you get all the time in the world they on your time make sure you get it right this is what you get paid for i'm putting you on game right now because i don't want to see y'all make the same mistakes i made your boy with the slight cameo man i know i don't show my face in the camera much but i had to this time you got to see how focused i am man green is the longest part of the custom man and you see how focused i am man make sure i get it right make sure i get it done right because like i said this is why i get paid for and i want y'all to make money too this is why i drop these videos You see how full and green it came out? At the 10,000 coats of green, man, this how full it should come out. It should look exact and just like this. Now you're ready to do the face part. And the pink I got for the character's face, man, I came up with my own mix. It was pink and neon pink. Mixed it up and I got this. This is the closest I can get. It came out pretty perfect, so this is what I'm gonna use. The pink might be down at the easiest part of the custom, man. It only take about three coats, man. You can knock this out real quick, real quick and easy. Knock that out. Let's get to the next part. After you get done doing the pink, man, I think it's time for the fun part of the custom. Bring the shoe to life, man. Let's draw the character face and my favorite part. When I started on the face, man, all I really did was get a reference from Google, man. The easiest part, got two phones. Get your two phones, man. Come in handy, use a laptop or something, trust me, and just go by there, man. As you see, man, I'm just using some black paint. The care just real easy, man. I'ma put it up there, man. Like I said, I've never heard of a Coco Melon, but I'ma say this, man, a quick story. Like, I, as I'm doing the shoe and I post them, I get a million requests from, I, I got my DMs was flooded full of the mothers. My baby need Coco Mella. Them is so fast, right? I need them. The dad, hey bro, my, my daughter need them Coco Melon joints for I need them Chicago slang. But it, it, it was blessings, man. This is why I'm making a video now because of them. I'm like, man, whatever Coco Melon is, I, I, I have 
to I have to do a million of these. I feel like it's coming. Put a little finishing touches on the face, man. My art teacher used to always tell me to bring your character to life. Is put the details in the eyes. And the details very simple for this. Just a little dot in the corner there. Dot in the corner there. Dot in the corner there. It's real simple. I love doing these, man. This is one of the easiest custom. And I'm not the most detailed as artist. I'll be the first to tell you. But I recommend this custom to everybody. That's why I'm doing the video now. This is pretty simple, man. It was fun. And the parents are just loving it right now. So, yeah. Do the eyes, man. Real simple. All I'm doing, man, to finish up the face, man, is putting a little blushes. I guess, I don't know if this is a boy, watermelon, or girl. Watermelon. I don't even know how you can tell if a watermelon is a boy or girl, but add the little blushes, man, and you're done with the face, man. That's about it. Look at the little face. The face came out very clean. I'm satisfied, man. We on to the next step. And to put the final touches on the watermelon part and the face part, all I'm doing is getting some olives and put a little lines that, you know, that watermelons have. So do them how you want to do them, man. I just put a little curve on it here and there, man. It came out pretty clean. It don't have to be super detailed, but... All I did, like I said, a little olive, made lines, and they came out clean, and it looked like watermelon. And I gotta give a shout out to my customer, cause she came up with this idea. She told me to put the colors to match her daughter's little dress that she had. That's why I'm adding these little polka dots or dots, whatever you wanna call them. She the one that put the little razzle dazzle and finishing touches on the custom. Cause I then and felt like I was done, but I felt like it was missing something at the same time too. And we both came up with this idea and this just completed the custom, got everybody going crazy. This then that part of the easiest part. Well, all I'm doing is getting a Q-tip and dipping each color that I'm using at every end of the Q-tips and just dotting uh, just parts of the shoe, man. It's very simple, man. Kindergarten work, man. And this is the easiest part of the custom. You literally can't get this wrong unless you a little off, but it was fun. Just dot them on to the next part. Almost done, y'all. And after all the dotting and painting, I still felt like the shoe was missing a few things, man. So what I did was come up with this little orange, orange little outline on the stitching on all the swooshes, man. And it just brought that extra color the shoe needed, man. It, 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 it was finished after that. And the custom is pretty much done, but like me, when I'm always looking at my custom, I always feel like I gotta add one more thing, man. And I just had to add the little ladybug that be on the little cartoon character face, man. I seen the picture, I was like, it's missing something, it's missing something. And then I had to add a little, it's the small details that count when you're doing a custom, man. And that little ladybug put the final finishing touches on this custom, and I love it. Ladybug swoosh, man. Now let's lace these boys up. They ready to go, man. If you like the video, man, I appreciate it, man. Like and subscribe. And what y'all want to see, man, like I said, I appreciate y'all giving me a thousand subscribers. Like, let's shoot for 10,000 now. Like, the, the sky's the limit now, so I, I really appreciate the people, man.